Okay. Hi, bet you haven't seen this setup in a while. I am currently home home at the moment because I literally just yesterday moved out of my junior year apartment um, because I'm going to LA this summer for my co-op, my internship. I know I mentioned this on my channel, but I also haven't been very active on my channel. So I feel like that kind of just got lost in the sauce, but yeah, I am going to Los Angeles literally on Sunday. My flight is Sunday morning and I have a lot of packing to do, hence my big ginormous suitcase. I really, really plan to get back into the vlogging game when I go back to LA. I, I just feel like vlogging in public is so normalized there. So when is the perfect time to restart YouTube? now so to kick off this whole shebang why not do a pack with me for my three months in la anyways yeah we have a lot to do this isn't even all of it hang on we have these bags and shoes as well hello say hi to the vlog okay <laughs> Okay, here's the situation. I haven't flown in years. I think the last time I stepped foot into an airplane was before the pandemic. I think it was like like Christmas 2019 or something. So it's been a while. I have to refresh my memory on like airplane guidelines. But I think what I wanna do is I have this big suitcase and I have this smaller one here. And this one actually counts as a carry-on. So ideally, I would like to have this as my checked bag and then this as my carry-on and then a personal item. If I have to, this will be my checked bag and then I'll have like two other bags for my personal items. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I have all of my clothes from college in this and in this laundry hamper that's behind me right here. So my process now is going to be getting all of my clothes out of these two things and deciding what I want to bring to LA and putting it in this big thing. Okay, 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 there we go. Yeah, she is packed to the max. We're gonna just... Okay, obviously this setup isn't working. I genuinely do not know how I managed to get all of this stuff in this suitcase, but here we are. Okay, so for the most part, like, everything I want to bring is in here. It's just I have these things that are on hangers and, like, I have underwear in this hamper. Like, they're all clean. They're just in the hamper because I had nowhere else to put them. And my bathing suits are in that bag. So, what I'm going to do is go through this first and transfer what I definitely want to bring in here. I feel like I'll need more narrowing down even though I narrowed down a lot when I packed this suitcase. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So let's get started on that. Okay, actually, I lie. I think I'm gonna go through all of my, my Hong stuff first. Cause we've got a lot of them in here. I got this dress, it's from Shein. It's like long and it has this fun little slit on the side. I literally love this. It's such a nice like summer dress and I usually don't wear long dresses but I think this season it's my year so I'm definitely bringing this guy because like the color is just so cute. I also feel like because I'm working in an office this summer I need to look a little more put together. Like they said the dress code is business casual but it's the music industry so I don't need to be too businessy but I also don't want to be too casual you know like I want to look professional so I have this fun little sundress that I got from PacSun it's I don't I think I got this like over two years ago at this point so yeah we're bringing this and I also have this one from H&M that I literally got when I was a senior in high school and I never wore it but now I like I don't know I love it it's pink and pink's my favorite color. This dress from Urban is like the epitome of the vibe I want to encompass this summer. <laughs> Some of these things could really use a run through the wash and I know that's disgusting, but I'm too lazy to put them in the laundry, so I'm just gonna bring them as is. I'm bringing one singular sweatshirt out there. Uh, maybe two. My sister got me boba. Okay, I have one row of clothing done. My ideal scenario is getting like this entire suitcase to just be like clothes, underwear, bathing suits, stuff like that. And then this suitcase is like shoes, 
um, makeup, hair products, all of that. And then, yeah, the rest will go in, like, my carry-ons. So, we're gonna do our best with that. I still have this trash bag of Hank stuff to go through before I do the suitcase, but we're making progress. Okay, let me see what I'm giving you all on right now. Wait. Literally, I don't know why that's in my room. I don't drink IPAs, but it's a useful tripod for now. So, yeah, let's... Uh, dig into this guy. I don't know what just fell. Okay. Cool. The only thing that's in here are my jeans, and I really don't plan on bringing many of these at all. Just like my black jeans. Um, these guys. And some of my work trousers. And that's about all she wrote. I'm gonna have to clean that up later, but for now, this. You see, I think the thing about me is I'm not really a clothes girl anymore. Like, I definitely still love fashion and I like getting new clothes. I'm sure you all remember from like the early stages of my channel. Not that this isn't still an early stage, but when I was like in high school, I did a lot of hauls, a lot of hauls. I shopped a lot and I don't really do that anymore. Like I just recently got all these new clothes specifically because I'm going to LA and like I didn't have a lot of like business casual things but I don't really buy clothes that often anymore and so when I'm packing I really try to focus on like what do I really need but I feel like I need everything at the same time so I don't know this will be this will be quite the process I just realized that while I'm doing this, I should probably set aside my airport outfit just so I don't pack it and then I have to like dig through later on, but I don't know what that's gonna be yet, so we'll figure it out. Wait, I just realized, what if like they lose this checked bag and I'm putting literally all of my clothes in it, so I don't, like what if they lose it and then I don't have any clothes with me in LA, I just literally have like shoes and toiletries, oh my god. Should I like separate stuff then? Nah, don't, don't, don't mess with the process. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> this is so wrinkly, but I think I want this to be my airport shirt. Like, isn't it so cute? And I'll probably pair it with these white shorts. That goes there. We have made quite a bit of progress. I think if I can narrow down and squeeze, I might be able to fit most of my clothes in this section. And then that whole section will be like, bathing suits and underwear um we'll see though but yeah yeah i'm pleased with this so far <laughs> Oh my god i did it literally i think i did it <laughs> i won't fully know until i realize if i can close the suitcase or not but now we gotta move on to my bathing suits i kind of plan to be at the beach a lot like that's my goal because i work in office three days a week and then remote on Mondays and then I have off on Fridays, Saturday, Sunday. So I really wanna like spend as much time at the beach as possible because I love the beach and summers in Philly, like I can't go to the beach that often. So, and like even on Long Island, I really didn't go to the beach that often. So this is like my time. So it's time to pack some bathing suits. Um, Yeah, I have a lot here as you can see but I really, really want to narrow down this whole collection right here. First, this is a definite yes. Look at this fun little color blocky thing. I will say this would probably give me like a really whack tan line with this circle, but it comes with a really cute matching bottom. Yeah, I really love this, so I'm keeping that for sure. I also got this fun little sarong. It's like a cover-up kind of thing. I wore this to Ocean City, New Jersey. Uh, for my Memorial Day weekend vacation, and that was really cool. So, yeah, bringing that. This swim top from Target is literally my holy grail. Like, I always make sure I have this. So, yeah, and I have like two matching bottoms with it. I have this like ruffle 
bottom also from Target and this guy which I got from Pakistan it's got these fun little like caging on the sides literally this was from when I was in eighth grade but it's still fun and trendy so yeah I ordered this bathing suit online the top really did not fit me at all but the bottoms did and they're really cute so I just paired them with this white top that I showed earlier we've got my favorite black bikini with the matching sarong we'll need that where did the bottom to this go oh here it is and then lastly for the two pieces we have this fun little laurel pattern yeah super cute love that we'll be bringing it oh my god we are making good progress but i am literally so tired and i just want to lie down and i can't really um so that's great but we're making our way through now i just have to pack underwear and yeah okay i have decided the best way to do this is to put all of my underwear in a plastic bag and then put it in there so we're gonna do that i'm gonna time lapse it because you guys don't really need to see close-ups but yeah <laughs> I literally gave up. I'm just, I'm just on the clothes. <laughs> I don't care anymore, but oh my God, wow. We did good. We did really good today, guys. That is my suitcase so far. I still have a little space there to like put all of my socks and whatnot. But for the most part, that one is almost done. I think I'm gonna get everything I want to fit in there into there, so. Yeah, that's great. It's amazing the kind of things you can fit into things when you really put your mind to it. Mm, anyways, I will be packing the rest of my stuff in the coming days, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little smidgen of my packing, this little pack with me vlog. So yeah, uh, next time I see you guys, I will be in LA and stay tuned till then. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.